You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the one. facts of life, facts of the facts of life, facts of there's a time you got to go and show you're growing now, you know about one. facts of life, facts of the facts of life, facts when the world never seems to be living up to your dreams, and suddenly you're finding out the facts of life are all about you. All about you. you. Hey everyone, you're watching the Esperanza 243. I. Sorry, let me fix that. I am having the most wonderful day. Um, these past few days I've actually had. Sip it, Allison. This is a book reading, not a vlog. Alright. Um, let's us. Let me go over what I have read in the last video and don't forget to stay afterwards and don't forget to stay after the book reading because I will be talking about what I've been doing this week. It's not technically a vlog but I'd like to catch you up on what I have been messing up on. Especially when it comes to the videos here. Um, anyways. Ow! Alright, um, and just to let you guys know, I read ahead and did also did some changes so I would prevent myself from stopping like last time. Um, so let's see what, what we read last time. Uh, this is when Garnett calls her sister slash cousin. We found out that Garnet is indeed part of the family. She was just cared for by her aunt and her dad. And so right now at this point of the story, Garnet is talking to her cousin Marion. And she was trying to reach her aunt through the shell she was talking to. She shell she was talking in to talk to Garnett. And so she tries to find and since the three-way call didn't her trying to get a three-way call didn't come go through go well she grabbed a beat, uh, shell from the beach and then this is where we are. Okay, Marion, I found a shell. I'll call Mom and ask her what to do. Wait, Nettie, I want to ask you something, Marion said. What? She was a bit shocked. Why did, she want to, why did she want to ask something at this point? What happened last night? Mom acted weird when she came back to the hotel. Garnett gasped. Oh, gosh, that's why I was supposed to call you, she whispered. I was really hoping to tell you about that, but then that whole situation this morning distracted me. I'm going to have to tell you later. We need to figure out what to do with those guys. I have this weird feeling they're doing something illegal besides animal killing. I want to find out what it is. No, Garnett O'Connell. First mom acted like she knew something. Now you're acting like you know something. You're putting this off. I want to know what's going on now. I don't care about this illegal ring you want to solve. Garnett gasped. She stifled her sob and almost choked on it. I'm sorry, she whispered. It's just, I'm having a hard time dealing with what I learned last night, Mary. You have no idea what I'm going through. What happened? She asked. Instead of being angry, now she was worried. 
She said I was just like my mom. I don't get it. She said you weren't adopted. Marion was confused. Nettie sighed. I want to ask you something before I tell you everything, she said. Wait, hang on. She walked to the living she walked to the living room and sat down on the couch. Okay, shoot. I want to know what my sister knows. <laughs> How would you feel of having a cousin? Marion was confused. I don't know. I guess I'd feel weird. And considering we don't know any of our cousins. What are you getting at, Nettie? Mom had a sister, Garnett told her. Marion gasped. Oh gosh, really? She paused and gasped again. Now that would explain the other woman in the f in ugh, sorry. Now that would explain the other woman in all the family photos. What family photos? Garnett asked abruptly. Uh oh. From the sounds of it, I guess Mom hid it from you. She paused again. Wait, what do you mean that she had a sister? Wait, had? What happened to her? Garnett sighed, put down the extra shell, and switched hands with the shell she was... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. She sighed, put down the extra shell, and switched hands with the shell she was using. Mom said she died soon after I was born. Sh Mom says she died soon after I was born. She hesitated. Marion, I'm... I'm your cousin. She closed her eyes and waited for something to happen. It was quiet for a while. You're... You're my cousin? Marion felt scared. Wow, I mean... Wow. My cousin. You're my cousin, Blate. She paused. Who's your dad? Now this is what freaks me out. My dad is your dad. Our dad. Ugh. I think. Oh. Never mind. I was thinking of something else. Now this is what freaks me out. My dad is your dad. Our dad. Ugh. She let her head f fall back and groaned. Ugh. Patrick is not going to like this. Marion was quiet for a long time. Wow, mom and dad. Wait, my mom and your dad. Wait, what does that make Patrick, your first cousin twice removed? I thought you knew. I thought you knew, Garnet said. Don't you remember what happened a couple years after I was born? Patrick was adopted. It was quiet for a moment. Wow, she whispered. I almost forgot about that. Marion paused. So what does this mean? Oh, so... What does this mean? Are you going to call her mom or Aunt Helena? Oh, Marion, really? She switched hands with the shell again. She's the only person I've lived with my entire life. As far as memory goes... I'd feel more I'd feel more awkward calling her Aunt Helena than Mom. She's practically my only role model as a mother. Well, what does that make me? I mean, sure, we're cousins, but do you really want to call me Cousin Marion instead of Sister? Garnett giggled. I honestly don't know. I feel like I've been torn apart from you two. She sighed. Aunt and Cousin. 
Meanwhile, I am a mermaid trying to figure out whether my birth mom was adopted or not, and I'm sure Aunt Helena isn't going to tell me because mom has been in her life almost entirely. I honestly don't know what to do, and I'm talking too fast, aren't I? She rushed. She gasped, as if she had said one entire sentence. She waited. The, under, the other end of the shell was quiet. Marion? You called her Aunt Helena. Marion said. Garnett slowly gasped. No, Marion. Remain calm. Just because your sister is now your cousin doesn't mean you have to flip. She paused and tried to recollect what her cousin said. You think your mom was adopted? What made you think that? <coughs> I know I can do better than that. She paused and tried to recollect what her cousin said. You think your mom was adopted? What made you think that? She nearly cried. Suddenly, two people started banging from below and next to her apartment. She opened her apartment door and yelled out, Sorry! She closed the door and went back to her cousin. Sorry about that. <laughs> Garnett giggled. I sure hope that will I sure hope that will be the last time you'll be talking on your cell phone and shell phone like that. She said. Garnett laughed. Marion giggled. Then it turned into laughter. <laughs> shell phone, now that's hilarious. She paused. Now what is this all about Now what is this? Now what is all this? You think your mom was adopted? When did this pop into your head? She sighed. I was thinking before I went to bed last night. Marion giggled. Marion, listen. Mom, I mean, Aunt Helena, told me that I was just like my mom. She told me quite a few things mom and I had in common. She even told me that when, when they were kids, Mom had nightmares of the same thing. It was stormy, and she saw this ship. Lightning struck it, and the ship started sinking. She tried to swim toward it, but there was a man. A, a man that was far away from her in the opposite direction, I think. He tried calling her. She looked at him and he and realized he was saying something. The thunder and lightning drowned out his voice. The next thing she knew, a big wave hit her. She paused. She began to wonder what her cousin was thinking. The thing is, the nightmare sounds like it's a memory of her past. The only, the only way to find out is to ask Helena, but I'm too nervous to do that. I don't know what she'll say. You won't know until you try, Garnett. The worst that could happen is Mom saying she was adopted. Now how weird would that feel? It would feel weird, but I don't think that's the worst that could happen. Suddenly, the other shell she found started vibrating and bubbling. Um, Marion? Could you hang on a second? The other shell is vibrating. Marion gasped. Garnett put down the shell and picked up the other. Oh, sorry. Garnett put down the shell and picked up the other. Hello? She paused. Mom? Oh, I'm sorry. I must have the wrong shell. Someone said. His voice sounded rather proper. I'm trying to reach someone at a beach near where you are. I received word that someone there has turned into a mermaid or a merman recently. They were spotted yesterday. They were spotted yesterday afternoon. It's important for me to find the person. They may be a descendant of someone down here. Garnett gasped. I'm sorry, I'll leave you alone. Wait, maybe you can help me. She almost rushed. 
There's something the matter, dear. Can you not find your mom? She smiled faintly. That's the thing. Do you know anyone who disappeared in the past 20 to 40 years? Or anyone who would have been thrown overboard in a past storm? I'm sorry, no. Even though I'm quite young, my memory is not what it used to be. He replied. If you'd like, I can ask around and see if anyone remembers anything. That would be much helpful, sir. I would like that. Thank you. The man paused. You wouldn't happen to know who this mermaid or merman is, would you? She hesitated. She sighed. I do, actually. I am busy at the moment, though. I was talking to someone on another shell. The man was disappointed. Oh, I am sorry to disturb you. I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you be. Thank you for... Thank you for helping. He said... Great. I finally get to lead and the woman is busy. His Royal Highness is definitely not going to like this, he thought to himself. He went. He put down the shell he communicated with and went back to his business. As that happened, Garnett put down her shell and took a deep breath. She let it out. Then she squealed, although she wasn't sure which emotion she was, sque she was squealing for frustration or excitement. She picked up the other shell with her cousin on the other line. Marion, are you still there? There was no answer. Marion? Time check. Wow. Alright, um, I'm gonna read... Just a few more paragraphs and then I'll stop. Or at least finish the page. Um, Marion? At the same time she was talking to the merman, Marion was having trouble. Soon after her cousin put down... Soon after her cousin put down the shell, she heard weird noises coming from outside. She put down her shell and walked to a window in her apartment. She gasped, ran out of the apartment, and down the stairs toward the outdoors. What she saw was someone in a tow truck towing her van. What are you doing? she cried. The person stopped the truck and looked at her. What does it look like I'm doing? You're towing my van! Her face looked frantic. You parked in an apartment complex, and according to the person in charge, you don't have an apartment here. If you want your van back, you'll have to come to the compound and get it. Sorry. No exceptions. She groaned and went looking for the person in charge as the man towed her van away. Marion found the person in her office. The woman looked startled to see her. May I help you? Yes, you may. Did you call a tow truck to tow, van to tow my van? Yes, I did. I know you slept in one of the apartments last night. I checked all my information and you're not allowed to move in. Someone is renting that room and I will not allow anyone to stay there unless and until I see the woman who, who rented it. Well then, you might as well let me stay because you're looking at her. The woman gasped. You mean, you're... You're Marion O'Connell? Marion nodded. Oh dear. Oh dear. She said gravely. Oh dear, oh dear. I apologize. I, I wasn't expecting you until the end of the week. Oh dear, you might as well come with me. She took her keys and walked out of the office with her new tenant. 
She locked her office. I am so sorry I should have come to the apartment to talk to you. Instead, I went and called to tow your van, which has the rest of your things, I bet. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Marion giggled. She couldn't help but shake her head in humor as the woman walked to her car and unlocked it. The woman acted as if she could be sued at any moment. Please calm down. You didn't know, she told her. I should have come to you about the apartment. It was my fault for forgetting my scheduled time to come here. Oh gosh, just forget about the whole thing. Get in the car. We're going to the compound to get your van back. For this being my fault, I want to do this as a favor. Marion opened her mouth. Now, now, I will not let you talk me out of it. I'm paying the whole thing. It's my fault. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Since her cousin wasn't answering her shell, Garnett decided to hang up and try calling her aunt through the same shell. You might as well try. And that is where I'm going to stop. I am super late on getting things done. I told my... I told my precious, dearest Spotsy that I was going to do something for him, and which will be uploaded right after this. Shit. Anyways, um, I'm sorry for... Sorry, I forgot that there was a glitter. Um... What was I going to say? Oh, right. The little babbling thing that I was going to do after the book reading. Um, I apologize for putting up the lyric video late, but at least I put it up. And since I'm a little late with doing things this week for my viewers, I am going to do the vlog on Saturday instead of tomorrow. feel a little bad for doing this, but hey, at least I'm getting things done. And it's keeping me sane. Well, a little bit. Did I mention I've been getting horny flashes? <sighs> Anyways. I can't believe I just said that. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyways, I will see you Saturday for the vlog next, oh, I almost forgot, um, since there's still, like, a whole bunch of part of that world left, I am gonna do two book reading videos a week instead of one, because I really want to get this done, and I'm sure you guys want to hear more, more often, rather than once a week. So... How much of the book is left anyway? If I do do this two times a week, I might be able to get this book done by Christmas. Or maybe at the beginning of December. Heck, I could even get it done by my birthday! Now that would be awesome! It would be my birthday present to me! Um, anyways, I will see you guys Saturday for the vlog, and maybe Saturday for the book reading. Why did I do that? Um, so. What was I going to? Oh, it's already there. So, I will see you guys next, uh, I will see you guys this Saturday for the vlog and book reading. <laughs> yeah. I already did it again. This is the Esperanza 243, signing off. <laughs>